Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Sushant from A Guide to Cloud. What we're going to see today is how you can install and configure Microsoft Teams per machine with AV redirection media optimizations. Make sure your Windows Virtual Desktop session host align with the requirements for using the Teams running on the Windows 10 single and multi-session images. As always, I'm going to create an article which is going to have all the requirements and the step-by-step -step guide, which I'm going to put right down in the description below. So please make sure to check that article if you're going to follow the step-by-step -step guide. So the first step is to create a few following registry keys in the Windows Virtual Desktop session host. So I'm going to go to the Microsoft article, which says that what is that registry key we need to enable on that particular virtual machine so that Teams client can identify this as a VDI instance. So I'm going to keep it side by side so that I'm not going to miss out any values which is mentioned by Microsoft. I'm going to go into HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, and Teams. If you don't have Teams installed, which we don't anyways, so I'm going to create a key first of all which is going to mention uh, Teams. So right click and create a new key. Just type in Teams or if you are worried about the spelling, make sure to copy and paste it. Second, you would have to create a D word and this time make sure you copy the name of the D word which Microsoft have given to verify that it is going to be a WVD environment. and the value is one. After we make the registry change, the next step is to install the Teams WebSocket service. To use the WebRTC or AV redirection client, you must use Teams version 1.3.00.4461 or later. So the Version is 64 bit is what Microsoft recommend. So looks like I had this installed already, but I'm going to repair and install it one more time. And the third step is to download and install Teams. Make sure to run the command to install Teams for per machine. So if you remember on the past demo, we have done a demonstration on how you can install OneDrive per machine. In this particular demo, what we're going to see is I'm going to download 64-bit version of Teams and then I'm going to install this team on this session virtual desktop on a per machine instance. So before we install, we have to find out what's the command line for installing the Teams. So I head back to the portal it showed me what's the command line like. So I'm going to open a notepad, which is, which is where I'm going to make all the modification before we put all the details in the command line to execute. So I'm going to head back into the downloads folder. I'm going to copy the path of the Teams client. You can copy the path by hitting on your shift key and then uh, right click your mouse then you get the copy path option just paste the path of the installer and then uh, the next thing what you need to do is make sure that you give the log file details so just in case if the installation fails or you want to know what's the process uh, went through behind the scene you can always go back and check the details on the log file because it is going to be installed on slash i, it is going to be a silent install as well. We won't be able to see much details. So always good to have a log file to troubleshoot or go and see the uh, details post installation. The next step, I'm going to launch the command prompt in an admin elevated privilege. Copy the whole command and I'm going to execute in the command prompt. An important tip for you right now 
is to make sure that the registry change what we have made a couple of minutes before has to be perfect. If we had made some error on the registry entry, the installation will fail over here. So it looks like our installation is been going on smoothly. I'm not able to see any change which is happening right now. I hope everything is fine. If the success, if the installation is successful, looks like it is, I will be able to go into the program files and see all the files laid out in this session host virtual machine as well. Let's head back to the computer and see if we can see those files in the program files. So I'm going to open the file explorer, go under C. Because it's 64 bit, it's under x86. And go under Microsoft. And you would be able to see a folder called Teams. As you can see that there are a few files going to the current folder. This is where you can see the executable and all the files you needed for Teams to work on this session host and any other users who's going to log into the session host and use it from there on. So that is a successful installation. So let's head back into the control panel and go to programs and see if we will be able to see the Teams per machine installation. So that is very important. It's not just the regular Teams. It's going to be the per machine install for Teams and OneDrive because multiple people are going to use these application which we installed. So the next step is to install the WebRTC, which is going to be the Teams WebSocket optimization client. This is for your WBD image. So note that when you run into installation issue, please make sure to install the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. And uh, I will make sure that I will put that link on that article which I was mentioning about. So. If you run into any trouble, please make sure to install the latest Visual C++ redistributable. Otherwise, you're going to have issue with this particular client. Now that we have completed the installation, we can find that if it is installed properly under apps and features. So go and type in apps and features. When it is uh, opened up in a window, just scroll down to make sure that you would be able to find remote desktop web rtc read director service that is what you're looking at so you need to see that is available and installed properly on your the next step is to sign in to your session desktop using a user who's got rights to sign in and access the session desktop so i'm going to use the user called bird person which i have assigned the proper licenses before which I have added to my session host desktop. You can go and check out those videos right after this, or you can stop right here and you can learn that and come back over here. So we have gone through things like how we can configure the session desktop, how we can assign these licenses, how we can set up the remote app, etc. So I'm going to launch this session desktop for this particular user right now. And I always run into the trouble where it expands to multiple desktops. So I have to like change the settings up here before I uh, launch the session desktop. So now I have signed in to the session desktop. As you can see that I'm immediately welcome with the Teams launcher. So uh, it is already picked up the local user which I used to sign in. I simply tap on it and I would be able to sign in within the Teams app. So just need to put in my credentials. To type in the password for the user. And there you go. So you have launched into the Teams app. Not sure why I have two desktop icons. So I'm going to investigate that later. But just see if Teams work for me. So as you can see that I launched into the Teams app. I can go under settings and see if I have the latest version installed for this particular user. So click on about 
and version you would be able to find the latest version which is installed for this session desktop and finally i'm going to go into the programs type in control panel i just want to make sure that we can see the same type of installer like a teams per machine installed on the session host i'm able to see on the session desktop as well so go under programs scroll down you can see that machine-wide installer for teams is being installed for this particular pc now i can go on the teams and i can pretty much do all the activities any teams app user would do like call meetings chat using teams functionality etc i hope the information provided on this video has been super helpful you can visit the blog a guide to cloud.com for more information I will see you on the next video. Till then, stay safe.